The cosmos is a vast and intricate system, holds a profound connection to our lives, whether we realize it or not. Every day, the cosmos sends us signals about what is right or wrong for our future. When we tirelessly pursue something, but face continuous obstacles and failures, it's a sign that perhaps that particular endeavor is not meant for us. It could be our dream job or a desired possession. Or even that could be a person with whom we want to spend our life. In such moments, we must recognize that the cosmos is protecting us from potential pitfalls. Who knows, that dream job might come with a challenging boss. A dream car could lead to an accident. Or the person we love may betray us. On the other hand, when a path unfolds effortlessly, with little resistance or effort, it signifies that we are moving in the right direction. Thus, we must have faith in the laws of the cosmos. Follow the path it guides us on and find happiness within. The question, who am I, holds a complex answer. Ancient scriptures from various religions offer spiritual and physiological explanations. According to these teachings, our life consists of three stages. The awakening state, the dreaming state, and the deep sleep stage. The awakening state is where we find ourselves as we watch this video. In the dreaming state, our identity, profession, gender, age, and even physical appearance can change. And, in the deep sleep state, our physical senses cease to exist. Now, according to the scriptures, I, is just the common thread, across all three stages. Initially, this concept may be difficult to grasp since, we often associate our identity with our name, profession, body, and other external factors. But, those are true in awakened state, and can change within our dreams. Furthermore, in deep sleep, none of these aspects exist at all. So, what truly defines us? It can be understood, quite simply, by the fact that, we are a small part of the cosmos. Comparing with the scriptural explanation, we can say, that we are the part of the universe, during our awakening state, and also part of the cosmos, during our dreaming and deep sleep states. Now, what is the goal of our life? Some endure poverty, while others accumulate wealth. Some find happiness, while others remain discontented. Actually, before each birth, we meticulously plan our lives, what we wish to accomplish and the experiences we desire to gain. Just as we plan a detailed itinerary for a long-awaited vacation. And, when we deviate from this plan, unhappiness ensues. However, to attain moksha or salvation, we must undergo a diverse range of experiences, including both virtue and sin. In one lifetime, it is impossible to have every experience or live every life. So remember, the wealthy person beside you also needs to experience the life you are living, just as you may need to experience theirs. It is even possible that you have already lived their life in a previous existence. Therefore, instead of comparing our lives to others, we should strive to become the best version of ourselves, to become compassionate to others, working for betterment of the society and yourself. That is the meaning of life in a nutshell. The happiness of a rich person is not guaranteed, nor is the unhappiness of a poor person. Each individual faces their own unique challenges, as dictated by their own destiny. In the pursuit of a fulfilling life, we must focus on three essential dimensions. Health, wealth, and happiness. These aspects are interconnected, and none should be compromised for the sake of another. If the pursuit of wealth comes at the expense of our health or happiness, then we are heading in the wrong direction. Let us embrace the wisdom of the cosmos, understand our true identity, and navigate life's journey with purpose, faith, and balance. By doing so, we can unlock the boundless potential within ourselves and find fulfillment in the intricate dance of existence.